you know, I can totally see getting fired for this if I made this video while I was still working. Luckily, I quit my job and now I only need to make these videos, which is kind of like a unique position for me. During my career as an engineer, I asked for vacation and generally you get your vacation, but one time I actually got refused and then I had to make an argument and so I still got it anyway. So today's video is about what do you say in response to this so that you can get your way, so that you can get your vacation anyway, because we probably know you really need it. Now the general rule of thumb I feel is best probably you need to allot about one week per day of vacation that you ask for. Therefore, if you ask for the next Friday off, you got to do it before the Friday of the previous week. If you ask for two days, well, two weeks before that, you can reduce this by a little bit, but not by much from this, from my experience. Now, if you push it too hard, for example, you ask for that Friday off on a Tuesday or a Wednesday. If you do this too many times, your reputation is going to get called into question because your boss will see, well, you can't really schedule that well. And how come you all always have these little sudden things that comes up and you rather go play instead of going to work. So this really questions your motivation of, you know, doing your best for the company. And this does not sit well, you know, next time when they do layoffs, next time when they see who's working the most and stuff, they are more likely to keep the people that are harder workers than people that keep on taking all these vacations. Now, this does not mean that you should give as much warning as possible. For example, you know that you need to do something maybe three months down the road and you ask for a couple days of vacation because of that. If you ask for your vacation too early, this might actually be used as leverage against you. I've seen this myself. For example, if you ask for one week vacation, you only need to take five days off, right? So you only need about five weeks of advance notice. If you say ask for it three months in advance, your coworkers and your boss are going to tend to use this against you. Usually it comes up in conversation. They might ask you to do something and then they would add in a little blip at the end. Oh, because you're on going on vacation, uh, you should do this and this. So this would naturally occur more often the earlier that you ask for your vacation because there's just simply more time to do it. True story here. I asked for my vacation. I'm not going to say where I went, you know, just in case someone is watching this video, but it was for about a week of vacation. And I asked it at a time where the company was very, very busy and I was, you know, doing something very important. However, I would, I've been slogging away at it for months and I was just starting to get burnt out. I really, really needed to go on this vacation. So I asked for it knowing that, you know, I might have a small chance of success, but I really needed it. That's why I asked for it. My boss kind of said, no, it's like, well, we're actually very busy right now. So then I responded with, I don't know what to say. I know we have a deadline coming, but I've been working at this for so long. I feel so strung out. I feel like if I keep on going at this, I'm just going to snap or something. Then I got it. Yes, it was a little bit of a show, but usually, you know, even if you feel really bad, it's hard to convey this. If you just say it, you know, with very blank messages, you know, you're not emotional about it, then it's easy for your boss to ignore. You really, it, it, this is like a human interaction thing. You have to show the other person that you really needed it, be it. Okay. Maybe you don't really needed it, but personally at the time when I did it, I really needed it. And maybe I went a little bit overboard, kind of acting the part. Another thing that you can say without so much acting is perhaps you can say, well, you've been working at this and you're just kind of strung out. And I really think that my performance is going to go down. If I don't go on this vacation, I really need this. You know, that's something that you could just kind of say without kind of getting, you know, crazy eyed, I'm going to snap type of thing. Now, when you're actually doing this, it's kind of like a negotiation here. It's kind of sad that you have two weeks, three weeks, four weeks of vacation, and you actually have to negotiate for the time that's yours already at companies. They always go, well, you, it, yes, the time is yours, except you have to take your time off at a time where it aligns with business practices. So therefore it's not like you can take it any time that you want. You have to wait until, you know, it's not tax season or something. There's a downtime, but it's just sad because sometimes you have a personal life where it does not necessarily align with business goals. When you ask for your vacation, usually it comes in the way of an informal ask first. You go into your boss and go, hey, you know, I'm taking, thinking about taking such and such time off before you actually just go in the system 
if there is a system and then you fill out, you know, the requests and stuff with all the paperwork, it's better to just go in to give a warning. And then once you go in, your boss, it's going to give you some indication, some body language, you know, something they say, you know, to reject this. Once you kind of get a feel for that, they're probably going to reject it because maybe you asked for it too early or maybe the company is very busy with projects or something. You need to give your case for taking your time off. You need to give a good reason for it before they actually say no. Because once they say no, they're actually locked into a pride kind of thing because once they say no, it's their authority that you're challenging against. Once it's been verbalized, it's really hard to take back. Um, you probably know this yourself. If you happen to say no to something, it becomes a bigger hurdle to say, okay, I changed my mind because this happens a lot less than, you know, if it goes on in your head and then you approve the vacation, you know, in the point of view of the boss, then it becomes a lot easier. So your, your job here, when you ask for it informally is to pose where you want to, what you want to do, how much time you want to get off, kind of give a, get a gauge for, um, if they're going to reject you or not. And then if you kind of sense this, you have to be ready to make your case before they verbalize saying a no. This generally is going to work a lot better than if they actually say no and you try to overturn this, this decision. Thanks for watching this video. I think I'm in a very unique position of having work somewhere and now and I can just blab all about it, you know, tell you all the secrets, kind of like a person who says too much at the lunch table. Sometimes they won't even say something like that because it might jeopardize their own position. Right now, there is no position for me to jeopardize because I can just tell you all of this, including that 401k front loading thing, a bunch of things that, you know, where I can just tell you like it is, like as if, you know, we're friends sitting in a living room outside of company areas and stuff, and I can just tell you like it is what you can do to, you know, make the most advantage of things for yourself. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to give me a like, push that subscribe button and ring that bell icon. Thanks for watching.